Hello, Cyber Citizens, and welcome back to our channel, Bits and Bytes with Bit365. Today, I'm going to guide you on the murky waters of malware and what it is and what it does. Now, malware is the villain of the internet, and it stands for malicious software. So it's an umbrella term for software that's designed to sneak into your devices, steal your data, and wreak havoc. So businesses beware, malware can rob you blind, lock up your precious data, and then leave you and your digital reputation in ruins. So let's meet these digital rogues and learn how to best guard and secure against them. First off, we have the virus. Now, a virus, or a computer virus, I should say, is like a flu virus. Now, just like the flu can spread from person to person, a computer virus spreads from file to file or computer to computer. So it can attach itself to legitimate programs and multiply or potentially damage your system's health by corrupting files, stealing data, or taking over parts of your system. Now the Trojan, or the back doors, as what Trojans are, Trojan is much like the ancient Greek wooden horse. So it looks harmless at first, or even useful, um, but it actually hides a malicious secret. So once it's inside your digital city walls, um, it creates a backdoor for hackers. So this is like someone giving you a free coffee maker that actually has a sneaky little camera inside watching everything you do. Thirdly, the worm. Now, a worm is a sneaky little program that replicates itself and slithers through your computer network. It's, it creates uh, copies of itself without any human action needed. So imagine it as a magic self-copying paperwork that not only fills up your office, but can also send copies to other offices without you even having to send them. Now the famous one that everyone usually hears is ransomware. Now, ransomware is like a digital kidnapper. It locks away your precious files, photos or data and demands ransom to get that back. So imagine someone putting a lock on your filing cabinet and then asking you for money to then give you the key. Now, advanced persistent threats. Now, these are complex and stealthy and often are long-term hacking processes. Now, these are aimed at high value targets like government or corporations. So picture a team of burglars who don't just break in and grab what they can, but instead move into your attic undetected and steal things little by little over months or even years. The other one is adware. Now, adware bombards you with unwanted ads. It's like a salesperson who follows you around everywhere, constantly trying to sell you something, and sometimes they're sneakily spying on what you like to make their, uh, make their ads even more tempting or appealing. Spyware, well, spyware is like a private detective that a cyber criminal has hired to follow you around on the internet. So what it does, it takes notes um, on everything that you do and it reports back with all your private information. Now, fileless malware. Now, this type of malware is tricky, but it doesn't use files to infect your computer. Instead, it hides its malicious activities within normal computer processes. So imagine a thief who doesn't break into your house, but instead um, he convinces you to willingly hand over the keys to your house. Uh, the other one is rootkits. Now, rootkits, these are tools that uh, hackers use to gain unauthorized access to your computer 
and then hide their tracks. So it's like someone getting uh, the master key to your house and then coming and going as they please. And you'll never know that they've even been there. Key loggers. Now, key loggers record everything that you type on your keyboard, like passwords and credit card numbers. As is, as if is um, someone's actually looking over your shoulder while you're putting your PIN number to the APN or uh, ATM, or even uh, eavesdropping on your phone calls. Uh, bots and botnets. Now, a bot is an automated program that can carry out tasks by itself. So when an infected computers are then, say, connected, they form a botnet which then can be used by cyber criminals to perform large scale attacks like taking down websites. Picture it like a group of drones that have just been hijacked and they work together in a heist. Um, mobile malware, you now this is specifically targeted for mobile devices like your smartphones or your tablets. Uh, it can steal your personal information, send out expensive text messages uh, without your knowledge, or even track your location. So imagine a malicious app that pretends to be a game, but it actually is stealing your contacts list or your personal information. The other one is wiper malware. Now this kind of malware is sole purpose is to destroy your data. So it's like a paper shredder for your digital files, but once it gets activated, they can delete everything from family photos to important business documents, leaving like leaving nothing behind but digital confetti. Now, these digital demons can spell disaster, but don't fear, you can fight back. And here's how. One, stay updated. So keep your software patched up so to just close uh, security holes. Secondly, vigilance is key. So use a reputable antivirus or anti-malware tools to guard your business. Thirdly, train your employees. Educate your team on cyber threats and best and safe practices. Back up your data, regularly back up your data so you can always bounce back if ever involved in a cyber attack. Tighten your network or fortress. So what we say is that employ firewalls, encryption, and secure your networks to keep attackers at bay. And the other portion is monitor your network. So keep an eye out for unusual activity, and I would say audit your systems regularly. Now, knowledge is your sword to a shield in the digital realm. So I would say equip yourself and you'll keep your business and castle secure. Well, that's it from us, and thanks again for joining. Um, if this guide was a beacon in the cyber fog, just hit like and subscribe, and do share this knowledge. And as always, stay safe out there.